Hi, and welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show. Recently, I did a show called Christians Finding Love Online. You know, so many people were doing it, so I said I have to do a show about it. We had several couples come on the show to let us know how they found love online. Plus, dating expert April Mason is going to be here to show us how to navigate the online dating world. And we have our celebrity question of the week with actress Braylee Evans, so you don't want to miss it. All coming up right now on Lady Charmaine Live. We met, I met Shirley online on uh, BlackSingles.com. Yeah. Been looking for five years. I knew what I <laughs> was going to accept, because I had been through things that I wasn't going to accept. I was in a bad marriage and took time off to heal. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I decided that let's try online dating. So after um, about five years. Um, that's when I found my husband online. For me, to go going online was um, the loss of uh, a wife prior to me moving here to Sacramento. Uh, it was a year uh, after I moved here that I decided that I wanted to get back in, kind of into the dating game, meet someone. Um, so I decided I would check out the uh, dating okay, website. Um, I, uh, I'm really mad at Willie. You want to know why? <laughs> tell them why. Tell them why. You tell them why. Oh, well, she's mad at me because we didn't meet earlier in life. And because our marriage um, has been so successful yes. and to the fact that after we got together, we started praying together and yes. worshiping together. Uh, and the Lord has blessed us tremendously. <laughs> Help me welcome Willie and Shirley Green to the show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, Shirley, I have to ask you a question. Are you still mad at Willie? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm angry yeah. at him. Now, how much longer did you uh, wish that you would have met him? Oh, back in my early 20s, I wow. probably wouldn't have had as much knowledge as I do now. But back in my, let's, let's say, early 20s. Now, did you think that you were really going to be able to find the love of your life online at this point in your life? No. So no. What, what made you really turn to online dating? Because we know in the body of Christ, you know, it's really taboo to go online. So did you tell friends you were going online to try online dating? Or did you just say, hey, OK, I'm just going to try this thing and then tell everybody later? Well, I was at work and I heard a couple of ladies talking about they were online and they had been dating. So I just when I went home in the secrecy of my home, I got online and just started. Um, seeing what was out there, what was open to me. So, yes, I didn't have any problem. You now, know, how, after, how, how did you tell your friends, though, once you found the love of your life, and they say, well, girl, where did you meet him? What did you say? Online. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, I had no problem. Um, okay. After I, because I had been um, searching for five years, because mm. I knew what I was going to accept and I was not going to accept. Had a lot of dates, and some I didn't accept, and just from there, and when I found him, that's, I was going to love you. Yeah. Now, Willie, what was it about her? Now, who contacted who first? Mm, I think I contacted her first. I think I sent her a, a message online. What was uh, it about her profile that you liked? Uh, what she was saying about herself and what she was looking for uh, and what I was looking for. And like she said, I, w I already knew what I was looking for. What were you looking for? I, I, was, lo <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a woman who um, was looking to move forward in her life, who wanted to be successful, who was looking to, to, to um, just move, move on with life without any, a lot of hassles, mm -hmm. you know, no arguing and bickering mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Now, how do you find that online? She had, I don't argue, <laughs> I don't bicker. <laughs> I mean, is that a spot in there online? And uh, well, you, you <laughs> well, they ask you. Uh, well, you can put out there what you're looking for. You know, like I, I put on there. Um, if you're looking to be spoiled yeah. or taken care of, if you want to be treated like a queen, like mm. a lady, okay, then you know, give me okay. a. <laughs> 
So is everybody hounding you? You must be getting dinged yeah, every day. Like, <laughs> oh, I got to turn your cell phone off. <laughs> cell phone's just going off. <laughs> now, who don't want to be spoiled? Who don't want to be treated like a queen? Who said I don't want to be treated like that? Any, anybody say, man? Well, yeah, there were a few. And then, like you say, and the good thing about online dating is that you get you get an opportunity to weed out a lot of the ones that, you know, are trying right. to fake it and right. not make it. Now, did you really think he was going to treat you like a queen? And, I was going to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I did. And uh, when we had our first date, he came and he opened up the car door for me and walked me around. As a matter of fact, he, he held my hand first. And we women, we want, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I took the hand. I'm like, okay. He opened up the car door for me and let me in. But the thing that got me is when we got out the car, I just sat there. He came around, he opened up the door. Until today, he still does that, you know? And you found that man online. Online. <laughs> My computer lover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Because a lot of people don't believe you can find a good man online. Yeah. So people still say a good man is hard to find. And he went online. But your story was so interesting when I had spoken to you. How did God tell you that this was your wife? Um, actually, when I first met her mm -hmm. and the moment I touched her hand, he spoke to me then. He says, this is who you're supposed to be with. You know, it, 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 was, just a, it was just a feeling, I guess you would say karma or, um, you know, just the insight, you know, and God gives you an insight, you know, God gives you an insight and when he pr presents something or brings something into your life, you'll know. Mm -hmm. He'll speak mm -hmm. to you right away or he'll give you a sign that, okay, this is what I've got for you, you know, so you got to be open. Mm -hmm. You can't, you, you can't close, close your mind. Minded. You can't mm -hmm. be closed minded. You got to be prepared. Because when he speaks or when he does something in your life, you mm -hmm. got to be ready to move. Mm -hmm. What did the Lord show you on that computer? <laughs> what, uh, well, he, you know, actually what he did was we were going by our computer names. Mm -hmm. And like I told you before, I had just lost a wife uh, a year prior to meeting her. Uh, and for a whole two weeks, I was looking at her picture, but I never noticed the name in the corner of the picture until he smacked me upside the head and said, hey, look, look at look in the right hand corner there. And I, when I looked, I went, oh, no, is that really? Really? That's the same name. Because <laughs> my wife that had passed away, her name was Shirley, and he brought another Shirley into my life. Wow, what a wonderful story. So it is true that you really can find love online. Yes. And coming up after the break, we're going to meet another couple who met, fell in love within seven months, and then they got married on 12, 12, 12. Their love story coming up after the break. Now we're talking about Christians finding love online. So what should the first question be that you ask a person that you met online? Uh, if they're Christians. Are you single or not married? What are you all about? What do you do for a living? You know, that kind of thing. Just to get a kind of outlook on who they are as a person. Maybe a little information, you know, if I can get a little information about them, you know, where they're from, you know, some of their hobbies, their interests. Are you, um, what are your beliefs in the Lord? And that would be a strong question that I would seek from a woman that I'm interested in or looking to be interested in at all. How old are you? Because I need to know those kind of questions like, you know, meeting somebody, you need to know age, what do you do, stuff like that. So, yeah. What should be the first question that you ask a person that you met online? How much money do you make? <laughs> Wait, where's <laughs> And welcome back to the show. My next guest met online, fell in love, and got married. They met in May of 2012, and on 12, 12, 12, they decided to tie the knot. Help me welcome my guests, Charles and Venetia Harrington, to the show. <laughs> now, both of you have a great love story. Now, I know Venetia, she does a whole lot, and so she had her own reasons for finding love online. But my first question for the both of you. What was the first question that you asked each other when you met online? Wow. <laughs> um, hmm. I think, well, I think, the, I think the, the online communication was initiated just by saying, hi, hello, um, I read your profile, you're very interesting. And obviously I started that portion. <laughs> 
And from that point on, um, we were quickly seeking a transition to a telephone conversation. But you say quickly, quickly. seeking to transition. <laughs> <laughs> now, quickly. did you feel the same to quickly seek a telephone conversation? How were you feeling about him? Yes, I felt a really good vibe the first time I met him. I liked his conversation. He was very articulate. He was intelligent. I loved his approach. He was very gentleman. And so I just based it upon his approach. And, and at, when he asked to go further you, through the yeah. telephone conversation, then, of course, I said yes. Sure. Now, when you signed up online, what were you looking for? What were some of the characteristics that you were looking for in a man? He absolutely first had to be Christian. Mm -hmm. I preferred an educated man, um, someone who was mature, someone who um, just seemed mature and responsible. And based on conversation, it, it I mean, it was, it was consistent, so. Because, you know, sometimes people can be someone else online, but thank God he was consistent because you have somebody say, I, I make six figures, you know what I <laughs> yes. mean? I drive a Mercedes Benz, they're driving a hoopty, living at home with their mom. You know, how do you decipher through some of that stuff? Right. You know, talking about I'm single, but he married with four baby mamas. And, you know, how do you really decipher? Because a lot of that is going on online. You hear a people that have these nightmare stories. Mm -hmm. I met a young lady. Mm -hmm. She was flying out to meet this gentleman. I believe he was in the Carolinas and she was so excited and she told me, she was like, and Charmaine, he's putting me up in a hotel. I said, that's great. Are you ever going to go by and see where he lives? And she said, no. She said, I'm not. I said, you need to because you need to make sure there's not a wife at that house. Right. Right. Well, to make a long story short, it was a wife at the house. That's why she wasn't going to be able to go by the house. Right. So, you know, how do you really know that this person is who they say they are? How did you really know that? It took quite a few conversations. Um, when I first started speaking with him, he was actually still in Tennessee visiting family. So we had quite a few conversations. Then when he returned home, we met up a few times. And um, <laughs> gosh, it's me having a relationship with God, um, just really seeking, you know, his, his lead in this, really just continued to confirm it as we, we moved forward. But, you know, it was about a good five months of, of, of dating consistently that just, we just fell in love during the process. So. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, both of you have children, right? Mm -hmm. How did you tell your children that you met your love of your life online? Hmm. Well, my daughter, she's five. Okay. And um, I think it, it initiated for her, my phone rang and... Uh, uh, Vinicia's face popped up and my daughter looked at it. She's like, Daddy, is that your new friend? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, I said, yes, it is. And uh, so what's her name? And, you know, my daughter is very inquisitive. And she asked a bunch of questions. So when am I going to meet her? And I said, well, later. Uh, so it just went from there. And then every once in a while, uh, she continued to ask questions. So. Okay. And it's funny that you asked that question because actually my son, who was, he was the one that encouraged me to go online. We were sitting yeah. on the couch one day and a commercial came on, it was Christian Mingle. And he said, he started pointing and, you know, <laughs> and, and then finally I said, what are you saying? And he said, you should try it. And so I did. And so when I did, when we finally did speak about it, we were, uh, Charles and I were dating for a good four months, five months mm -hmm. before I actually said, yeah, I've mm -hmm. met someone. And when I feel that this is something that's going to be more serious, then perhaps you'll meet. Wow. So your son led you to the love of your life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it does pay to listen to me, no matter how old they are, I guess, kids, <laughs> grandpas, I guess it doesn't matter. Right. Well, what a blessing. Your story is so interesting mm -hmm. that a lot of people really don't believe you can actually find love online. So I'm so glad you both did. And coming up, we are going to meet a wonderful dating coach. She's going to be here giving us some do's and don'ts of online dating. So if any of you out there is trying to try online dating, we're going to let you know what you need to do and what you shouldn't do. Coming up after the break. <laughs> the odds of this daughter of a clergyman spending 11 weeks at number one on the U.S. singles charts? One in 19 million. The odds of going on to win six Grammy Awards? One in 1.4 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 88. 
I'm Tony Braxton, and I encourage you to learn more at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Where should the first day be with a person that you just met online? A park, somewhere open, somewhere you meet, never bring them to your house. A restaurant. Now, why a restaurant? Because there is a lot of people there, so, you know, like, they will not try anything with you. At a public place, of course, a restaurant is an easy one. It would be something more natural, maybe a walk in the park, dinner, movie, something simple, classic. <laughs> Um, somewhere open. Just, you know, you don't know them, so meeting somebody for the first time, you need to make sure that you're safe and, you know, so I would say, like, maybe at a restaurant. That would be nice. Yeah, I, I would do a restaurant. Hello and welcome back to the show. We are talking about Christians finding love online and right now I have motivational speaker also she's a dating coach she's an author and she's a preacher but today she's going to be giving us the do's and don'ts of online dating I want you to help me welcome Miss April Mason to the show <laughs> Welcome, April, to the show, and I'm so glad you're on the show because we're going to talk about some do's and don'ts of online dating. Now, I want to first ask you this question. Now, we know where should the first date be? When you meet somebody online, where should they go? Well, for me, whether you meet them online or in person, it should be somewhere where you guys can have a conversation. No movies, no place where it's quiet. I, I remember I used to be an avid online dater back when Black Planet and Black Voices were real hot, and a guy texted me in the movies and said, do you find me attractive? And I'm like... We're never going out again <laughs> because you don't you don't ask and so you have to be in a, in a place where you can communicate right. Because actually a date is nothing more than collecting data So our first date is for me to collect enough information from you to see if I want to go out on a second date with you mm. And that's all really dating is so now when people are deciding to go online because we're in, the, in that age now Everybody's going online. They're trying to decipher all of that good stuff So now I'm ready to set up an online profile because I want to find me a man What should I do? Number one, put an up-to-date picture. If I see another picture from when you were in a high school, girl, stop. You are not that size anymore. And number two, make sure it's a headshot as well as a full body shot because when you start, sit, fellas, I'm going to give you this. When you start just seeing just headshots of chicks, be careful. <laughs> Because, I mean, a lot of my guy uh, clients, they'll say, well, you know, she was bad, her face was this, but when I met her, uh, give, be honest and give a person the opportunity to accept you as you. That's good. So if they like, you know, extra, let them like extra. If they don't, give them the opportunity to say yay or nay. Now, you also say do not show too much skin. Like no, thinner. because, you know, what I find is, especially, it's interesting. A lot of Christians will get online mm -hmm. and they have this headline, I love God and all these things. <laughs> but next thing you know, her stuff is all the way down in here. <laughs> and her dress. It's like, well, how do you... You know, say you love God and you're looking for a Christian man, but you don't portray anything that says I'm a virtuous type of woman. Right. So now you get upset with online dating because I'm so tired of meeting these jokers. That, well, look at what you're giving. You only get what you're giving. That's good. So no skin. You can be nice and sweet. And Christians can be sexy people. <laughs> we, we can. But without all of the, the boobage and, and the extra stuff, we don't have to do that. But you can still be nice. You can still show that I am a woman and I am feminine without showing everything. Oh, that's good. Now, you also mentioned something about attention grabbers. I love that because basically you're marketing yourself. Yes. So tell me about this whole attention grabber. If you think about Coca-Cola, you think about Pepsi, you think about that, they all have slogans. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're marketing a product. And it sounds bad the way I'm going to put it, but you actually you are a product. And you are online marketing yourself to pretty much to be found. Mm -hmm. So you have to stand out. You know, it's not, nobody wants to hear, I'm a great guy. Everybody thinks that. Or I, I, I'm a woman that just, you know, I love to cook. Well, we all think we'd like to cook. Be, be unique. What is something unique about you? Mm -hmm. You know, be open to be, you know, to be honest when you're when you're up there, but make sure uh, you give a little humor. Humor goes a long way online. And another thing I wanted to say is um, it's not a job interview. <laughs> uh, some some of the things I heard, the, you know, the people saying well, as you were interviewing my side, well, I got to know this. I got, it's good to know that. But 
bring it down some. It's not a job. It's dating. Dating is nothing more than collecting data. You're not, the, every person you meet won't be Mr. Right. Mm -hmm. Every woman that you meet online won't be Miss Right. So chill out. Be laid back and just say, okay, well, I found out. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, good, good to meet you. I, I'll check it with you later and see if I want to see you again. But it's too much extra stuff, you know? It's like you take the fun out of it, whether that's online or whether it's offline when you meet a person. We've gotten so far out of the uh, mindset of finding love that we're finding stuff. Let me see, how much money do you make? What do you do? Blah, 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 <laughs> all of these things. And it's like, it's a job interview. Right. Let's just get to know each other on a basic level because dating, once again, is nothing more than collecting, collecting data. Collecting data, y'all. When you go online, just know you're collecting data. <laughs> And see if you like them, if you don't like them, if you go on a date, and then see if you like them enough to go on another date. Exactly. Oh, that's smart. Then you also said something about talking to friends and family. Tell us about that. Well, you know, when I started online dating, a friend of mine, she put me on Black Planet in 1999. <laughs> and she wrote my profile, and she wrote it from, from how she views me. I had to tweak it a little bit because some of the stuff she said went all the way right. But you can ask your friends and family to give you some pointers. What are some unique things about me? What are some, some great things about me? What are some things that are not so great about me? I will say don't dump online all of your, I don't want no man that's going to treat me. We don't want that. <laughs> because you're putting your bitterness all over that's online. True. So that's you don't want to go in like that because you're not going to reach, get what you're looking for. And you said, don't use cliches. Give us some of those cliches people use. Um, I love walks on the beach. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I like picnics in the park. Most women, we like that too. Those kind of things. Be unique. Just, just be you. You don't have to look for the, the funny, corny cliches. Mm -hmm. we don't, let me ask you this. Do you like corny lines when a guy walks up to you with corny line? So why would you give a corny line online? It's the exact same thing. Don't give out your information too soon. Would you give a stranger at a coffee house your information? <laughs> it's the same thing. So there's no difference to me right. in dating online than dating um, outside, meeting someone at a gas station, because if you don't know them online, you don't know them when you first meet them. Right. 90 days down the line, you're going to find out either way if he a joke or if she, she right or not. So it's no difference. It's just where you meet them. Now, April, you said you should respond to all emails. Now, why do we have to respond to all of them? Why not just some of them? Okay, first of all, if someone spoke to you on the street, would you say hello? Back? Yes. yes. What's the difference? Mm. So you, you don't want to give the attitude of, I can, it's more of being cordial and it also allows you to find what you like and what you don't like. Like, I hate when a guy would say hi. On my profile, when I was the online dating, it says, if you say hi, how you doing, I'm not going to respond. So it made them be, uh, give me a little bit more conversation because that's boring. So respond to each email and kind of just give it a feel and be lighthearted with it. No extras, no, no drama, no what your baby daddy did and the last girlfriend dumped you. <laughs> we don't want to hear that because you've taken your baggage into a relationship, a potential uh, relationship. That was really good information. And coming up, we're going to meet a young lady who is currently looking for love online. And April is going to give her some dating advice coming up after the break. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Should you secretly bring a friend with you on a date with a person that you met online? Uh, I would say if you haven't had phone contact at least, yes, because it could be, you know, axe murder or something. Yes. Yes. I say no. Um, not at all. <laughs> Why? Um, because I think it's kind of intimate. What if he starts liking your friend? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think so. But your friend is hidden. They're secretly on the date. They're just watching you from the other end. Um, I guess it's to each his own. It's how comfortable you feel with the person you've been talking to. Yes. Why? You will be safe because they won't be looking at you, you know? Probably not. I think I'd feel secure enough, you know, with myself. I wouldn't need anybody really to, to judge another person for me. I'll leave that up to the Lord. You bring a person with you to spy on you while you go on a date with the person you met online. 
I would. <laughs> Why? Um, just a security measure. You don't know. You really don't know what you're getting into. So, yeah, I would. <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, there shouldn't be anything that either of the persons have to hide, even though you should take safety precautions. I think that would be a little weird if the other person found out that you had a secret person with you. So, <laughs> I think that's it. Yes, of course. I'm all about being safe so I would bring a person you know just to make sure I'm good and you know make sure you know everything's going good so yes I would bring someone <laughs> Welcome back to the show. My next guest is currently looking for love online as an alternative to the nightclubs and even church. So April Mason is here. She's going to give her some dating tips and advice. And plus, she have her own questions. Help me welcome Miss Nakia Hayes to the show. <laughs> Hi, Nakia, and welcome to the show. Now, I do have to ask you, would you secretly bring a friend with you on a date? Um... I wouldn't go on a date where I felt so uncomfortable to where I felt like I needed a bodyguard. Mm, that's good. Man. So I don't know if I feel that comfortable. I'm like, look, Charlene, sit right there in the back. If you make any moves, you make sure you phone a couple of friends. Bring right, the girl in right. down here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Nakia, you're currently looking for love online. Why did you even decide to even try to find a date online? Well, the thing is, um, nowadays, like, I'm so busy. And on top of being busy, you know, I have my daughter, I have a seven-year-old, so we have softball, we have Girl Scouts, I have my own nonprofit, plus I work a nine-to-five, and I'm not really a clubber. I'm not a clubber, I'm not a partier, I'm not a bar hopper. So how else to meet guys other than the workplace would be online. So that, that it works for me. <laughs> Now, I know you have a few questions for April. What are some of your questions that you have for April? Oh, I actually do. Um, one of my questions were, uh, was, um, when going on these dates, what would be the best date, safety-wise, that you would recommend? Anywhere in public, in, in, a, in a public place. Something, keep it light, like I was talking about earlier. Something at a Starbucks, a coffee house, something real light where you know if anybody tried anything, you got, you're surrounded, you know, right. by people. And then you... <laughs> You'll know within yourself, based upon the conversations that you've had with the other individual, if it's so, something that, well, should we go to the movies? Should we go just to dinner? You'll know that. But a safety precaution is always, a coffee house always works. Right. Barnes and Nobles, too. He, he'll let you know if he can read. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be illiterate. Right. <laughs> you have another question for April? And also, um, I do have another question. Um, as far as my daughter's concerned, now I heard it said a few times before, like you never post any pictures of your children, although you do say that you have children. What do you think about that? You, on a dating site, absolutely not. You don't post because they're not trying to get them to know your kids. Right. They're trying to get to know you. So I am totally against posting pictures. Online, you can say, yes, you have children and you can say their ages, but posting pictures of them, not on a dating site. Right. Okay. And then I need you to stop being so busy, too, because I just heard you say that I got all this stuff going on. We're going to put you on on busy.com next. Okay. <laughs> because if you want to meet somebody, you got to right. get out. Right. Um, online is good, but we don't, we don't want to take the traditional way of right. meeting people totally out. This is on, on, an alternative. Right, right. Okay. So have you currently even found anyone online that you decided to even go out on a date with? Um, I have. Um, not all my experiences have been good, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I feel like it's no different than meeting someone at the grocery store or, like she said, the gas station. Um, I did actually go on a date with a young man that I met online on um, single, I'm sorry, ChristianMingle.com. He was not at all who I thought he was. Tell us um, about that. We end up, <laughs> it was very interesting because, um, you know, when he asked me on a date, uh, originally, you know, I wanted to say no just based upon the fact that he asked me to go to the movies and we had never been out anywhere together before. Um, and to me, the movies, um, there's no social interaction, like, like she stated current, before, um, there's no social interaction. So you can't really get to know the person that you're on the date with, and that's what a date is. You know, you're collecting data, you're trying to get to know this person. Um, but needless to say, we go, we go to the movies, you know, we talk, we have a conversation before the movie starts. So I'm like, okay, this guy, he, he, might, be, he might be okay. So we go through the movie, 
after the movie, you know, we're standing outside the movie theater and we're talking and it was like somebody hit a light switch. And all of a sudden he starts talking about sleeping with guns under his pillow and all type of stuff. And I'm just like, wait a minute, what is your name? Who are you? So um, not all my experiences have been good. I have had some good experiences as well that, you know, things just didn't work out like normal relationships, you know. But um, I'm not actually dating anybody at the moment. I did meet somebody not too long ago and we were um, scheduled to go on a date, but um, things didn't work out. So I'm still on the dating sites. Now, you have a child as well, right? I do. Now, how long will you wait to introduce your child to somebody that you met online? Um, I think as far as um, introducing my child, I would wait just as long to introduce her to somebody that I met online mm -hmm. as I would anybody else, you know, meeting them anywhere, anywhere else. But I would think within, a, within the first three months, because you don't want to get attached to someone, mm -hmm. and they meet your, chil your, your child, and they don't click. That's and it's like, you know, you wasted your time as well as, you know, he wasted his time. You know, I think in the first three months, it, 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 you should have your children meet whoever it is that you're interested in. That's good. Now, are you open with your friends and family that you are currently looking online? <laughs> with some of my friends, yes. But my family, they're very traditional. Um, I come from the family, like, they don't even want you to post a picture on Facebook if they are in the picture. <laughs> like, they're so old-fashioned and old-school, and they, um, they don't know about me dating online. Well, they probably will now, but <laughs> we'll deal with that on a later date. But, um, you know, um, I think majority of them would be against it, you know. Um, but at the same time, like, I have to do what, what's best for me and what I feel works for me. Regardless of now, how you gonna tell them? Now you gonna find somebody who fell in love right. with this man? They gonna say, "Baby, where'd you meet him?" Right. I'm gonna say, um, "I met him on Facebook. I met him on ChristianMingle.com, or I met him on Plenty of Fish, or <laughs> wherever I met this young man." I just and, heard of this Plenty of Fish. Right. Yes. Does Plenty of Fish mean there's plenty of people out there? That's what it yeah. It's, 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 oh, I uh, see. I just found yes. out about this, y'all, two days ago. I'm real new. <laughs> okay. But How yes. many people on Plenty of Fish? I was. <laughs> Before I got into a relationship, I was. My yes. two guests are the two people in the room on Plenty of Fish. Yeah, I was. I was. And when it first came out, I was on. I was on. I, that's why I, I was like telling her. I said, "Oh my God, I still have my old profile up from way back when." But I went and printed it out, and was like, "Oh, okay. Well, these are the kind of things you should write to to find certain type of me. So right. your profile got to be right to to determine the kind of guys that you meet as right. well too. Right. What you write is so important." Nice and we're going to talk about that coming up after the break. Coming up after the break, we're going to meet a lady who is against online dating, and she might have good reason. So we're going to find out about that after the break. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Looking for a station that plays uplifting music with an inspirational message? Praise 98 FM Jams is your station. Log on to praise98fm.com from anywhere in the world and get your praise on with artists like Kirk Franklin. Dawkins and Dawkins, and Mary Mary. It's music the whole family can enjoy. Listen to Lady Charmaine live weekdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for great interviews, contest giveaways, and entertainment news. Listen to Praise 98 FM jams at work, at home, or on the go. Download the free TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and search Praise 98 FM and start jamming today. We want you to like us on Facebook at Praise 98 FM Jams and join the Praise 98 FM Jams family. Log on right now at www.praise98fm.com. Your worldwide radio alternative internet radio never sounded so good hey do you want to be a part of our live studio audience for free tickets go online to lady charmaine live show .com and join the fun today what would you do if
the person you met online did not look like their photo? I would run away. I would question why they uh, wanted to lie about what they look like and I would still get to know them because I think it's more about the heart, but it would make me wonder what kind of insecurity issues they have with themselves because um, you shouldn't lie about what you look like, just be happy who God made you and there's good people out there who really care about a person's heart. I would try to still be polite depending on if it's a man posing as a, a female posing as a male. That I would probably just go raw on. But if they still posted a picture, I would just say, this isn't you. You've already started lying. I'd have to put them down easily. Uh, well, I, I'd wonder if they're wearing a mask or if they're under there somewhere, but um, I'd probably be a little disturbed. Now, what if the person that you met online did not look like their online photo? What would you do? I would be very upset because you think you're meeting somebody who looks this way and yet they look something totally different. Um, I go with it. It's just the first date, you know. <laughs> you can always not call them. <laughs> like, brother, you really ugly. But right. well, that was a nice picture you had from 10 years ago. <laughs> was that really you? <laughs> you say, hey, I got to go to the bathroom, and then you just leave, and you never come back. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the show. My next guest does not believe in online dating and she may have a good reason. I want you to help me welcome First Lady of Providence Baptist Church in Richmond, California, Miss Carolyn Cobbs to the show. <laughs> now, Carolyn, is that one of your reasons why you don't approve of online dating? Because some people may not necessarily look like they like they're supposed to online or because they can pretend to be somebody else. Both. Okay. Both. Oh. And I say that because, uh, you know, we counsel a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that it won't work or it can't work, but some of the people we have counseled, it just did not work. And I'll give you a prime example. Please do. Um, family member, mm -hmm. close friend of hers, online dated and um, met a guy, very nice. And she was, she had reservations about, you know, online dating. But anyway, they got together and they met probably like three months later. And she still had reservations, but the um, connection, it, it was good. Yeah. So, um, of course, you know, they wanted to consummate it. But he, she said, no, let's just wait a while. And he was okay with that. And she was like, okay, well, this might be the guy. Hmm. Okay, so they did. The next morning, uh, she got up. He had already left. And um, he left her a message, though. And he went in and he wrote the little what night on the mirror in red lipstick. So when she got up and she went into the bathroom, she saw the note that he had left for her. And um, she was just, oh my God, she was in complete awe. And the note said, welcome to the world of AIDS. <gasps> she contracted AIDS about a year later and she lost her life. Um, and it was just, it was a horrible thing. And it, that just didn't work because there was deceit from the very, very beginning. So um, that's why I have reservations about online dating because people do it, they, they can deceive you. And your body language says so much about you. If you threw me a curve question right now, you would know because my body language would tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, body language says so much more than, you know, you know, you, it, then, you, then it comes out of the mouth, you know? So that's, that's why. Now, I understand that, but, but you can also uh, contract AIDS from somebody that you met at the grocery store, been on him, you know, two weeks, three weeks, and, you know, so there's really no difference, but I understand your, your reasoning. Now, with you being a first lady of a church, one of your congregants come to you and they say, First Lady Cobbs, I'm currently looking online, I want to find a man, and what would you say to them? Wow. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a 25 year old too. I, I asked her, I said, well, you know, how do you feel about online dating? And she said, mom, you know what? That's just desperation. Mm -hmm. um, I still think um, meeting a person in person, and it's not to say that, you know, you can't be fooled, but like I said, your body language. And, you know, I may be a woman that might want a man that's blessed in this area. You know, and after a couple of, you know, dates, if I hug him, if he kisses me, you know, he might get aroused and, I, and I'll know then. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. So, I mean, it's just a lot of things with online dating. I feel that you can't really 
connect with by just meeting a person in person. And like I said, um, you could throw me a question. Mm -hmm. And if it's, you got me off guard, you will see it in my body language. I'm a, you know, ask me about my credit or have <laughs> I ever, you know, you will pick that up. But online, I'm going to tell you everything I think you want to hear. That's, now, that right there is true. You got a point there. Because the only reason I'm asking you these questions is because you are in a position that your husband marries people. Your husband is a pastor. And you can have some members that's currently seeking online, found somebody, they're in love, and they say, we want to get married on June the 25th, and he's going to be flying out here from New York. Did and that has it? happened. That has oh, really? happened. That has happened. We have couples that have, um, you know, met online. Um, but when you meet these individuals, mm -hmm. Their character says so much about them. They're true, they're honest. And like I said, I don't think that it can't happen. It can, but when you do it um, with a motive to deceive, mm -hmm. and a lot of times that does happen. It happened to my nephew. Um, you know, he met a girl, she sent the picture, and oh, she's just beautiful, blah, 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 blah. Um, and went to the door and was like, we must be in the wrong place. <laughs> and then he asked the question of the young lady, well, why did you lie to me? And she said, I wanted to be accepted. I wanted you to like me. And that just, you know, that's some stuff for you. Um, but <laughs> that just, you know, the, the low, no self-esteem. And it creates bigger problems because if you deceive me at this age, what are you going to be? You'll do anything to get a man. Wow, that's good. April, how would you respond to that? Um, I understand the concerns. Um, however, when you're online, when you're talking about online dating, it's the initial meet. It's not, you don't get to see body language and all that. Even if I met a guy at the grocery store, we're, we're, the conversation is light. So I don't get to see or ask, I'm not gonna ask him what your credit's like, I'm not gonna ask him, you know how many kids you got, how many baby mamas you got. I'm not gonna ask him all that in the initial right. meeting. And all online is, is the initial meeting. The, the only difference is, is the place. Right. The same, the foundation is exactly the same. I meet you online. Okay, I, for me, when I was dating online, I was more prone to, within that first seven days, I, if you were in my city, I needed to see you. Because I, there's no reason for me giving you all of my conversation online if I'm not going to plan to meet you. And I always say, if a person has a problem giving you their phone number right away, a red flag. Mm -hmm. Because I need to talk to you. I need to decide before I go out on a date with you, if you're somebody that I can even, first of all, hold a conversation with, because as you stated, you can say whoever, you be whoever you want to be um, online. So the only difference is you meet them there, but you don't keep it draw long, drawn out there. I've, back when I was dating in, online in the early 2000s, I used to have guys fly from New York, D.C., everywhere to come to L.A. to meet me. Well, what I do, I didn't know you, so I would go meet you at a comedy club where my friends were. If I said I was wearing red, I would wear black. So I get to see you <laughs> before you saw me. And at that point, it's like, okay, he does, he is six foot eight, like he said. So then I was like, hey, I'm April. Nice to meet you. But it's you take precautions, but I don't want people to think that, uh, it's it's more than the initial. It's that's mm -hmm. just the initial point of contact. At that point, you say, "Let's meet. Let's exchange phone numbers." And from there, you're able to on that first date, you're able to see the body language. Because if I meet you at a grocery store, I'm still not able to see that because you're giving me your best you. And when I sit down and have dinner with you, I can tell if I like how you chew, if you put your <laughs> napkin up in here. I can tell if you're lying. I can I can tell all of that. So the only difference for me in it is the in place of contact. But the, the foundation pretty much and how you do it is still the same. That was some really good information. I want to thank you, Carolyn. And I hope you're learning something because I know I am. We got more great things coming your way. But coming up, we got our celebrity question of the week with Rayleigh Evans. You don't want to miss it. All coming up after the break. Looking for a station that plays uplifting music with an inspirational message? Praise 98 FM Jams is your station. Log on to praise98fm.com from anywhere in the world and get your praise on with artists like Kirk Franklin, Dawkins and Dawkins, and Mary Mary. It's music the whole family can enjoy. Listen to Lady Charmaine live weekdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for great interviews, contest giveaways, and entertainment news. Listen to Praise 98 FM jams at work, at home, or on the go. Download the free TuneIn Radio app on your smartphone and search Praise 98 FM and start jamming today. We want you to like us on Facebook at Praise 98 FM jams and join the Praise 98 FM jams family. Log on right now at www.praise. 
News98FM.com, your worldwide radio alternative. Internet radio never sounded so good. This is Shaya, and I'm from Sacramento, California. And I'm here to ask you a question. You've been looking awesome, fabulous, and your movies and your commercials. So I would like to know, can you share some tips on how I can lose 20 pounds. I am looking to uh, upgrade my image and also be a better, healthier me. Hey there, it's Braylee and Shea from Sacramento. I just want to thank you for your wonderful compliments. Thank you so much. I feel so great now that I've lost 33 pounds and I do want to encourage you to get those 20 pounds down if that's what you want to do. And you can do it. I actually use the Jenny Craig system. It works and it tastes great I'm telling you you don't have to add any additional seasonings or anything to the food and you are full and you are satisfied um, what I would want you to know is that losing weight is 80% food and 20% working out a lot of trainers are gonna be mad at me but if you want it to stay tight and right then you do want to get that workout in however if you concentrate on the food in the beginning and you start to see and feel the pound shed you kind of have more energy to get out there and do a little moving so it kind of works hand in hand so i just want to encourage you to um, not only look better for image purposes but when i tell you you can live longer laugh longer and love harder when you are you know healthy that's the that's the most important part and i think that your friends and family and even the children in your life will see the difference and everyone will be blessed because of it okay thank you so much shaya and i'm looking forward to seeing you chime back in on the show <laughs> and showing us your 20 pounds down i'm going for 40 i'll be back in 40 okay see ya bye now love you lady charmaine back to you <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Lady Charmaine Live Show. I enjoyed all of my guests. See, people are really finding love online. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. He never said where well, you might find her. And remember to be sure to follow me right there on Twitter at Charmaine Live. And also like me right there on Facebook at Lady Charmaine Live. And also on Instagram at I am Lady Charmaine. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.